Is that on? Hello, welcome to Wednesday's Lunchtime Music for All. And I promised you a bit of a surprise today. So my surprise is, this is Miriam. And uh, Miriam's going to play, play the cello today. So it's a little bit of a, a different sort of lunchtime music for all, but hopefully pretty much the same as well. So um, let me tell you a little bit about Miriam. So Miriam is 16. And I know a few people from Hallfield School are watching. So Miriam started cello in year one at Hallfield and played in the school orchestra. Uh, and she's stuck with the same teacher right the way through. She's now in year 12 and she is at the cathedral school. Um, and the happy thing for me, being in our house, is we have lots of people, lots of willing volunteers to come and play music together, which is so much fun. So I hope you'll manage to do that at home as well. Um, so today's piece that we're going to play, I had some requests for some Russian music. And that's another reason for getting Miriam along, because Miriam has been learning the Rachmaninoff cello sonata. And we're going to play the third movement today. So um, we played this in St George's Brandon Hill a few weeks ago, which was lovely. Um, it was a real treat to play it in that beautiful space. Um, so I thought it'd be nice to do for you today. Um, the cello sonata was written around about 1900, 1901. And Rachmaninoff um, was a Russian composer. And he, about three years previously, he premiered his first symphony. A symphony is a big orchestral work. And it didn't go very well. Um, I was reading about it this morning, His, the conductor did badly, the conductor didn't rehearse the orchestra well, the orchestra played badly, the conductor then rearranged some bits of it, um, which Rachmaninoff was not very pleased about. Rachmaninoff actually left the performance before the end of it, and the critics were absolutely savage, they hated it. And poor old Rachmaninoff couldn't write anything for about three years. He then had a bit of hypnotherapy, and around about 1900 he started composing again. And this piece was written shortly after the second piano concerto. And you can really tell that by the way it's written. The piano part is really, really complicated, really extensive. And um, as my brother-in-law Peter said, he said, Rachmaninoff hadn't really calmed down from writing the second piano concerto. And I think that's a really good way of putting it. Um, you definitely feel that sort of solo piano sense through it. However, there's also this beautiful cello line. So a few things to listen out for. Um, one of the things about the cello, it has beautiful, beautiful sound. I'm just going to ask Miriam to do a little demo for me here. So, um, the, the melody of this piece begins with a repeated B flat. Here's a B flat on the piano. So the piano has that, that idea first, but then the cello comes in. And what the cello can do is it can really warm the sound with using something called vibrato. So Miriam, could you play me a B flat that doesn't use any vibrato? Now could you play me that B flat with loads of vibrato so you can hear the difference? You can hear how that sound is so different. Um, so really listen out for those repeated B flats. And then about halfway through the piece there's a moment where the piano gets the tune and the cello actually loses all its vibrato. It's very quiet, very gentle. And the piano is, is at the front and the, the cello is accompanying so you can really listen out for that. And the other thing that I always listen for in Rachmaninoff is his use of crescendo. That means when it's getting stronger, because Rachmaninoff is amazing at writing these really powerful um, phrases that really build through them, through the use of crescendo. So really listen out for that. So this is the third movement of Rachmaninoff's cello sonata.
thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, it's so, so much fun to play. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, it'll probably be me again just on the piano tomorrow. So I shall see you again. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.